So you find yourself at the No Mercy home screen, and you're thinking, well, I want to play, but the first thing I want to do is create a wrestler. Well, don't worry, Austin. Yeah, you. Don't worry, David. Don't worry, Jesse. Jesse. Yeah, Jesse. I know I know. Jesse's watching this, because I got you covered. Now, before you play, you're going to see all these options. You're like, oh, ladder match, Iron Man match, especially if you're in 2001, which I don't know how you're watching this right now, but if somehow you are, and you got you got some type of time travel business going on, well, this is the perfect place to be, because this is at a... I don't know, what should I call this? I'm doing this on the fly. Ah, you know what? Perfect name. The game dump snippet. Little little preview dump. Because everything's got to have dump after it, except news dump, because ETC took that. But don't worry about it. Right now, I'm going to show you a bit of the, you know, layout of this game. But real quick, you got all your matches and stuff. But before you do that, before you do the story mode, you're going to want to go to Commissioner. Because we're creating a wrestler right now. So what you want to want to do is... Smackdown Mall. Smackdown Mall. Now you got a couple different options here. You're going to see Superstar Options, Shop, and Data. So, let's start at the bottom. Data, no control pack detected. I am on an emulator. If you do have a control pack, it'll show you all your data. It's simple. Really don't have to worry about that if you're on an emulator, which is a fine way to play this. Now, Shop is how it seems. You use money to buy stuff. You know. And if you're starting off right now, I doubt you have any money. And you can get that playing the story mode or doing survival, but that's for another time. Superstar options. Edit a superstar. Create a superstar. Clone a superstar. Change stable to stable's name. This is where you want to be. This is the place to be if you're trying to do all your superstar business and you're going to want to create a superstar. Obviously, where are you going to go? Create a superstar. No shit. Now, I've got some of my created superstars here. But, we're going to create one from scratch just to show, you know, what it's like. So you start off with, you start off, you start off with John Doe here, and I'll show you him uh, right now. You start off with John Doe here, nobody, data 7, 6, 3, 2, 40, average as it gets. Just your typical NXT jobber type. Let's go in there. Short name, you know, you can name your guy, you got, you got lowercase, uppercase, let's call him... Let's call him. Defoss. <coughs> Ch Chad. Wick. Totally random name that I made up just now. Has no connection. Has no link to my apparent obsession with the name Chad. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, let's see. Uh, decision. Dude, alias. Yeah. So pretty much show you what I did. You got the full name right here. You have your short name, which is which is gonna appear on your attitude meter, and you have your alias, which is gonna appear above your name when you do an entrance. At least it should. Picture, click on that. You got a myriad of options. You can choose between hold on a sec. Here we go. Actual superstars, I don't know why you would do that. They got pictures of people who aren't even in the game. Like these guys from the uh, Main Street Posse. I don't even know who that is. Oh, it's Joey Abs. You got fucking Mosh, Thrasher, Midian, and you got, of course, Aki Man and Aki Woman, who you actually can't make, but, you know, that's no here and there. I always use this. I always like this one, so we're gonna use that. I actually use more of a Chad esque. Uh, Chad's got that box cut, so yeah. Height. Using your up and down arrow, you can just go between the heights. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, go all the way down to five feet, which we'll do. You can change this weight. You can go really high. You can use your yellow, your yellow C arrows, and then you can just go up by tens, which makes the process go by a lot quicker. We're just gonna do something totally ridiculous. Music. Now, 
you can go, it tells you how to preview, of course, so I don't need to say that, but you got every wrestler in the game, you know, sexual chocolate, you can do anything, I used to sit through here and just listen to these for a long time, um, uh, da -da 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 -da. when you think of Chad, when you think of someone named Chad, what do you think of? Nah, not nothing hip hop. It's it's always best to use these original ones where you're creating your own wrestler because they're you know unique. Nah. Nah. There we go. So yeah, that pretty much covers you on this profile setting. The profile music, you got everything you need. You can do Titan Tron. Um Unfortunately, they don't have any original Titan Trons. I mean, this isn't fucking WWE 14, but we'll just use Viscera. Uh, let's do a quick preview. Yep. Seems fitting. Alright. So, you finished this, and you're thinking, alright, well, let's get into his looks. Well, if you see that you've got quite a few options to choose from. Well, let's start off with the body. You've got quite a few options of bodies. You can do, you can do skinny, medium, thick, fat, and a couple of wrestler specific bodies. Of course, Austin gets his own because he's Steve Austin. Steve Austin was always the best one because, you know, he was really buff. So let's just choose that one. You can do skin colors. You, it pretty much it covers a pretty good selection. If you're wanting to create someone who might be more Asian, you might want to use these two. Maybe not that one, but this one. Someone who's more Hispanic, you know, Indian. But once you get, of course, African American, you're gonna want to use these last two. Uh, I always use this last one for African Americans because this one just looks too. I don't know. Nobody's skin is that color, so you know, just go with that one. Got yourself a guy. So that's just body. You got head. Alright, so you got different head shapes here. You can choose between whatever head shape you want. You know, some of them are really strange. Uh, let's just go with this one because it looks fucking weird. Face. Now, this is the one, if you're creating a wrestler specifically, like that real that's not in the game, I would recommend... <coughs> <coughs> Shit. <coughs> Ah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, the sun got in my eyes. But I would recommend that you look up on the internet, you know, you know, like Hulk Hogan. What, what face is best for Hulk Hogan? Or what face is best for Macho Man? Or what face is best for Sabu? But if you're creating them from scratch, you're probably going to be in here for a while, depending on if you have a vision or not. If you don't, you're probably going to be looking through all these faces until you find one that you think is cool enough. Uh, I like this one, so I'm going to go with it. Hair. That's another one that you might be spending a little while on. You gotta have good, you gotta, gotta have a good hair to face, you know, balancing out. Now I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use it, but I'm gonna show you a quick example. So you got, you got this short hair, right? Well, oh, can't use that one. Hold on a sec. Middle hair. That's the one we can use. Now you also have a lot of options of front hair. Now you can have none and have that hairline going back. You know, look at that, dude. Look at that fucking forehead. Jesus Christ, dude. Holy cow, man. You know what? I'm just gonna go with that. But yeah, you also got other options. You could do, you know, all different kinds of things. But yeah, let's go with that, dude. You know, do whatever hair color you want. I always like making their hair blue because it looks awesome. Facial hair. Facial hair is pretty easy. Just give them a beard or, or don't. Only thing that sucks is that you can't choose facial hair color. Wish you could, but you know, it sucks. Mask. Uh, you can give them a mask, of course. Uh, you can get more masks and stuff like that by unlocking it. You can get accessories, you know, glasses and such. Uh, and that's really it for now. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's get those Bubba hipster glasses going. Uh, hats and caps, same thing. You know, just go through. Now, it, it, if you're doing something totally ridiculous, that's the only reason you would even have your guy wearing a hat. But you know what? That's exactly what we're doing. So let's do it. Uh, let's make it white. Yeah, that looks good. Ring attire. Uh, this is going to be usually your lower body. This is what your wrestler's going to wear in the ring. Uh, you know, you got all different options. Wrestling, you know, you got your singlets, you got your pants, uh, you got your long tights, you got your short tights, um, 
and yeah, and for, you just won't play and keep going down and go to short tights. Yeah, that's, that one's usually good. And yeah, so and that's how you can usually that's how you can usually ah uh, that's how you can usually choose something really quick is like just playing because you know you don't want to end up having the same tights as some of one of the wrestlers. That would be awkward. So upper body, if you want, you can choose same. There's a lot of selections that you go through using the D-pad, of course. Um, yeah, you can do all types of things. There's all there's others, long sleeve, short sleeve, no sleeve. You know, whatever whatever you see fit. So yeah. Um, so. Tattoos, you can give him tattoos. Always like uh, Godfather's tattoos because it makes him look tatted up. You can't change the color of those either. You can give him gloves. Uh, always like giving him those APA gloves. Yeah. Wristbands. Wristbands is also pretty easy and self explanatory. There's not a lot of options there, so I wouldn't worry about it. Unless your guy has to have wristbands. Elbow pad. That was a little, little thing here that I always forget to do. You choose the elbow pad. Let's say we're going to choose the hardy one. And you go to blue. And you want to come over here and pay attention to that thing down there. Do the left arrow on your C button. And boom. You got the same thing so you can get out of there. Same thing for the knee pad. Mr. Ass. Do it blue also come over see you're gonna end up hitting that button like I did like a fucking retard feet you can do whatever you want none others athletic not too bad they don't have high heels on here so I think that would have suited Chad very well you know what you're going barefoot bitch entrance attire this one's always fun to do you know give them gold medals give them shades give them a hat or a cap Give them costumes. That's pretty cool. Just have them come out just looking fucking retarded. Hold on a sec. Yeah, that's a nice shirt you got there. It's a nice shirt. And yeah, weapons and props. You can give them that nightstick, 2x4, kendo stick, microphone, water bottle, roses, whatever you see fit. And yeah, so that's your created guy, and that's the that's the appearance part. Now next, you want to get into moves. Now I'm not going to get too in depth for moves, but I'm going to skim over it real quick. You got grappling, you got your front front weak, front strong, back weak, back strong. Differences: weak are tap A, strong is hold A. That's all there is to it. Standing, you got your weak striking, weak striking is strong striking, which is the exact same way. Tap. Hold makes the difference. Recovering attack, counter attack, walking moves, it's all pretty self explanatory. Running, ground, got your upper body submission, lower body submission, ground attack. You know, you can, and I'm not going to get too much into it, but pretty much you just go through and you give him all the possible moves that he can do. You're going to want to spend a lot of time on this. You're going to spend a lot of time on this. You're going to make sure you give your guys some variety and make sure he's not doing a lot of the same moves. Fighting style, this is also important. A lot of people might skim over this, but it does matter. <coughs> <coughs> Shit, it's really bright in here. I keep getting sun in my eyes. Oh, let me close the blinds here for a second. Oh, what? Uh, <coughs> oh, fuck. Alright, no more sun in my eyes. We don't have to worry about that happening. Stance is important because you got all your different options right here. And wrestling is just your typical stance that most of the guys have. But you also have martial arts, shoots, and women. Now, for him, I'm going to do shoots, which is like an MMA type fighting stance. Ring entry, over the top, normal, jump, leapfrog. We're going to have him do leapfrog. No, let's have him do... You know, that's, that's how we, we know what we, we know what we want. Counter and reversals. Now, this depends on what type of wrestler you're trying to create. We're going to do martial arts. Speed. Slow. Normal. Fast. I'm going to have him be fast. Submission skills. Fucking expert. 
Yes, Irish with range of recovery rate, always too fast, there's no reason to do slow. Unless you're really going for realism and you're creating an actual wrestler, but we're not doing that. Uh, often, uh, panic, and uh, these two don't really matter much, though bleeding will put you down a little bit longer, and that sometimes can be kind of annoying in the heat of a battle. Always give them strong endurance too. I mean, if you're trying to beat the game, make your guys as tough as possible, but don't don't cheat about it. Don't make them like 400 pounds and all that shit. Turnbuckle climbing, how he gets up there, how far he jumps. Don't do shortest. Um, like just don't, just don't. Don't ever do it. I'm gonna do longest just for this sake. Specific weapon. He's always gonna have a water bottle, no matter what. So yeah. Next thing is also important, parameter. Now what you want to do is you're going to, you're going to, what I always do is I always take all the points down and get all my starting points back to where I have a full 20. Now you can make, you can make it balanced, you can disperse it evenly, or you could just do what I do and just put it all in one slot baby. Oh, you can't do that. Well, then put it all in one section. Make your guy as strong as possible and make his defense suck. Look at that. And your ally and your enemy. Just make it all the rock. This doesn't really matter unless you're going to get into storyline. So, yeah. There's your guy. You have created your wrestler. Now, if you're going to not do moves, the only thing I can recommend you do. Oh, no. Only thing I can recommend you do is go in front, not weak, front strong grapple. You're gonna, you're gonna give him, a, give him a special move other than the octopus stretch. Uh, just give him tiger suplex, and yeah, just give him a move other than uh the octopus stretch they give you, cause that's a shitty finishing move. You want him to at least have a finishing move. And there's your wrestler. You want to click start. You want to say yes. I would like to save my wrestler. And you might want to go in. And you want to might want to check on him. And there you go. You've got your wrestler. Now you're gonna be eager to go in and use him. Well, that's that's the point of a wrestling game, isn't it? Exhibition, or you can do whatever match you want to. I usually test out my wrestlers in a regular exhibition match, single match. Whatever arena we're gonna do random. WrestleMania, I guess. This is my typical setup, but for this we're gonna use we're gonna do no limit, no count, pin submission, TKO, no world break, no DQ. Uh just, you know what, let's do let's do let's do false count anywhere. Yes, bloodshed, no interference. Interference is bullshit. So go over. Something didn't happen right right there. <laughs> we're not, we're not, not even going to acknowledge that. You got the Foss Chadwick. And let's have him face. The cat. Alright. So when you're testing your wrestler, you're going to want to see if you like him or not. You might want to go back and tweak his moves. Get to see his entrance. My name is Chad. My name is Chad. The boss Chad here with the rock. Uh, looks pretty good. Fag, of course, that's the alias I gave him. And we got the cat, yes. Uh, Multi-time world champion. In fact, she won the 1999 Royal Rumble. I lied to you just now. I did not happen. Uh, and we're gonna do a quick little do a quick little, do a quick little demonstration. Uh oh, feisty! Punch her in the face. Punch her in the face. Hold it down. Oh shit! She got you. She got you. No, she didn't. Oh, she blocked it. Oh my god! Chad is getting his ass kicked. Oh, sums up, sums up his whole life. It's hard being a gay black man. Uh, challenge me, bitch. Challenge me. Challenge me, bitch. Challenge me! It's good to get in weak grapples. If you're having a hard time, don't worry about strong grapples. Wear them down with weak grapples. That was a stupid fucking move. 
Ugh. Damn it, she's getting back up too fast. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh my god, Chad, you fucking suck. Oh my god. This, this is embarrassment. Uh-oh. Is Chad gonna be making a comeback? Help me! Help me, Rock! Well, get away from me. The cat is a bad ass. Who would have thought? Now I know why Jerry Lawler married you. Marry this bitch. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah. 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 How you like that, bitch? Yeah. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Put me down, put me down, put me down, put me down, put me down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh no no. No. One, two, three, pin pop. You know what? Change the plans. The character you created was terrible and you should just fucking kill yourself. How about that? How about that? Do not create DeFoss Chadwick, because he's a disappointment to his family and everybody. Don't even play this game, just go outside, just take a fucking shotgun, and kill yourself. This has been Cultured Up, hope you learned something, hope you learned not to create a wrestler, because you're going to end up disappointing yourself because you fucking suck.